In his 1914 poem, Mending Wall, Robert Frost penned the popular proverb, good fences make good neighbors. Then, the line in the sand where the U.S.-Mexico border meets the Pacific Ocean was little more than a line on a map. No fence, no wall to mend. The current boundary line was first established by the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in 1848. This treaty laid the foundation for the kind of boundary that should exist. Upon a solid basis, relations of peace and friendship, which shall confer reciprocal benefits upon the citizens of both, and assure the concord, harmony, and mutual confidence wherein the two peoples should live as good neighbors. We remember a time not so long ago when there was no boundary line. We remember a time not so long ago when this boundary line was little more than a line on a map. Not so long ago, this boundary line symbolized relations of peace and friendship. Not so long ago, this boundary line symbolized the hope for concord, harmony, and mutual confidence. Not so long ago, this boundary line symbolized the need for us to be good neighbors. We remember a time when First Lady Pat Nixon visited where the boundary line meets the Pacific Ocean. She was so moved by the importance of this space that she had the Secret Service cut the barbed wire to greet people on the other side. She planted a tree, and she said, I hope there won't be a fence here too long. Even three years ago, families gathered with their loved ones on both sides of the fence. Lovers separated by distance and circumstance had the rare chance to reunite, whisper to one another, even touch one another. Children played on the beach, trying out their elementary English or their elementary Spanish on one another. People of hope gathered on both sides to plant a binational garden. People of faith gathered on both sides to pray with one another, to pray for those who have been lost, to pray for better days, to pray for peace. But in recent days, we have increasingly allowed fear rather than friendship to guide us. At great expense to people and the environment, in the last two years, we have fortified a wall of separation all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Even after we had successfully secured the flow of people across this boundary, we disregarded environmental laws and impacts and literally moved mountains to build this wall. We ignored the voices of human concern and spent an incredible amount of money to build a technologically sophisticated, fortified barrier all the way into the ocean. We scarred the land and deeply wounded the potential for friendship. We destroyed Friendship Park, and we built in its place a monument to fear. We all want to be safe and secure. We all want to protect ourselves and our children from those who may want to do us harm. There are good neighbors and there are bad neighbors. When it comes to good relations with our neighbors, we tend to think that good fences make good neighbors. But as the opening line of that Robert Frost poem says, something there is that doesn't love a wall. What we created at present is not a good fence. On the Mexican side of Friendship Park, the people have been pouring their efforts into crafting a beautiful, welcoming park. We don't have to replace a green park intended for relations of peace and friendship with a gray concrete and steel of fear and war. We can rebuild Friendship Park and turn from the current symbol of discord and mistrust back to a space that better represents our hope for concord, harmony, and mutual confidence. If we want to live as good neighbors, we must build a more friendly space. The Friends of Friendship Park make this proposal for the full reinstatement of Friendship Park. Our proposal seeks to re-establish this park for use by all, while addressing the security and safety concerns that remain the responsibility of the U.S. Border Patrol. The project presented here allows dignified and controlled passage up to the primary border fence at the San Diego Tijuana Monument site. The existing pedestrian door leading to the monument site would remain unchanged. To the east of that door, a 60-foot long rolling gate would be installed, operated by a motorized gear, and lockable in 20-foot increments. 
This rolling gate would allow complete security at the discretion of the Border Patrol. It can be fully closed and locked, or it could be partially or completely opened for special events. The width of the meeting plaza can be controlled through the use of a simpler fence that can be moved from one control line to the next, depending on the gate configuration. This is a plan whereby the Border Patrol continues complete control of the border zone while allowing the possibility of a more humane, peaceful, binational park. We, the undersigned, support the immediate restoration of dignified, orderly, and routine public access to Friendship Park, a site of great historical significance to both Mexico and the United States. Both nations face security concerns at the border, and we understand that U.S. Border Patrol cannot tolerate illegal activity at Friendship Park. The current design, however, so restricts public access as to violate the spirit of this historic park. Our proposed design respects legitimate security concerns while restoring routine public access to three key sites, the monument, the binational garden, and the beach. By ensuring that visitors to Friendship Park can see each other, touch each other, and converse freely in a dignified and orderly manner, this proposal honors the original purpose of the park and will enable visitors to build relationships of peace and friendship upon which the true security of both nations depends.